Men have been fascinated by the mystery of space since very ancient times. Since the 17th century, their observation of the star sky was over, only to be succeeded by the era of optical telescopes. It is commonly believed that the first man to use a telescope for astronomical observations was Galileo Galilei. He built his devices by himself. The first telescope created by the scientist enabled triple magnification. Later on, Galileo Galilei used a telescope with a 32-fold magnification to make a whole range of revolutionary discoveries. So what does a simple telescope look like? It is a tube on a rack with an objective and eyepiece. The rear focal plane of the objective is combined with the front focal plane of the eyepiece. A telescope also has a focusing device. Depending on the structure, there exist two basic types of telescopes – refractors and reflectors. There is also a catadioptric telescope that combines the features of both refractors and reflectors. Whatever the type, all the telescopes are built based on classical laws of the geometric optics. Let us start with the refractors. Such, for example, was a telescope used by Galilei. This type of telescope is very simple. It consists of a lens objective, convex lens, which creates the actual decreased reverse image of an infinitely remote object in the focal plane. The eyepiece, a concave lens, is then used to magnify and observe. The problem with the telescope is significant chromatic aberration. So the enhancements that followed were all aimed at resolving this issue. Kepler replaced the concave lens in the eyepiece with a convex one. This helped to increase the field of view and eye point, but the resulting image appeared inverted. The purpose of increasing the quality is also served by more complex achromatic lenses consisting of both the concave and the convex elements. Refractors are small in size. There is simply no point in building them big, because large high-quality lenses are not cheap. The largest refractor lenses reach about one meter in diameter, while the telescopes with small diameter lenses are immensely popular among amateurs due to their low cost and practicality. A reflector has a slightly more complex build. This optical telescope has mirrors instead of light collecting elements. It was initially created by Isaac Newton. This telescope is a lot less prone to aberration effects. It also consists of an objective and eyepiece, with the rear focal plane of the former combined with the front focal point of the latter. But it additionally contains two or three mirrors. In the classical Newton's opinion, when the light enters a telescope, it reflects off the main mirror and is then directed to the eyepiece by second diagonal mirror. There are multiple structure options, like a Gregorian telescope, Cassegrain reflector, etc. All of them are reflectors. Size is not so much important for these devices. A large good mirror is also difficult to make, but dozens of telescopes with mirror diameters of up to 10 meters are operated throughout the world. As of today, these are the largest optical telescopes that help to glance into a fast pace. A new step in the study of space was marked by invention of devices that are completely different in their essence – radio telescopes. But there is also another type of optical telescopes, catadioptric telescopes that use both lenses and mirrors. The lens elements contained in such devices are comparable in size to the main mirror and are designed to correct images that it builds. Maksudov's telescope is one of the widest known devices of this type. Now I would also like to touch upon the characteristics of optical telescopes. First of all, there is resolution, that is, the ability of telescope to show the objects that are located next to each other separately. Then there is optical magnification, ratio of the linear and angular dimensions of the image and object. And finally, the maximum optical magnification of the telescopes, defined as a double diameter of the objective expressed in millimeters. This characteristic is measured in folds.